Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Pad 6 and today I will show you how we can go to the setup process of this device. So, once you put it up for the very first time, you will be presented with this page right over here, though, depending on where you, when you're doing this, it might have a different number. Anyway, let's go to the next page by pressing on the arrow and then finding our desired language from this list. Now for me, it already selected a correct one, which is English, so I'm gonna go to the next page, which then allows me to select my region. I'm gonna just choose my kingdom just for the kicks of it, and then we can go to the next page. Now, region doesn't really matter all that much. Here we can select our keyboard, and now, to be honest, it tells us to select a keyboard, while Google Voice Typing necessarily isn't a keyboard. It's voice typing. So yeah, uh, so there's only a Gboard as your keyboard if, uh, if you actually want to type on it. Now, moving on to the next page, we have terms and conditions. And here we have user agreement, privacy policy, and obviously you need to agree to them by selecting this little box right here. Now, if you want to actually read what you're agreeing to, you can do so by clicking on either one of those. Moving on to the next page, we can then connect to network. Now, this step is completely optional, so if you don't have a network or you just don't want to connect to it, you can simply skip this. Now, by skipping it, you won't have your date and time set automatically, so you might need to fix it up. And also, uh, when you go into the setup, you won't be uh, presented with the Google login page. Now, anyway, moving on, here we have a couple of different uh, Google services like uh, location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. If you don't want them, you can turn them off, select accept, and then Select your screen lock if you want to set one up. We have a couple different ways of protecting our device on here. We have the screen lock and a face ID. Now on the screen lock, we have three different options, pin, pattern, or password. Now, if you're planning to use your face uh, ID or face unlock, you will also be forced to select pin, pattern, or password. And the reason for that is if something would happen to, for instance, maybe your camera on the device or your face to the point that the device cannot recognize it correctly, uh, you would lose access to your device. Therefore, that would leave you with the secondary option to unlock your device, which is pin pattern or password. I'm gonna select a pattern right here. For some reason, I need to remember it. No duh. Cool. Are you kidding me? Just give me that. Give me the pattern. There we go. And we can now progress further. Now this will then present us with gesture navigation, which is enabled on this tablet, I think, by default. Uh, it also tells you that if you want to change it, you need to go to home screen and system navigation instead of logically giving you the option to change it right now. It's a setup screen. It should allow me to set it up. Come on. Logic. Anyway. Um, Again, it's just cramming down the navigation so I can actually know how to navigate through my device uh, so I can change the settings if I want to use buttons instead of giving me the option right here. Moving on, uh, we have a couple different options right here. So we have basic settings, location, sending user and diagnostic data. Now they do seem like they're repeating and that is because they do. Uh, though these are just different ones because previously we had one once from Google. Google wanted to know where uh, you do everything where you are and uh, just send themselves all the personal information about the use of the device. Uh, here, uh, Xiaomi wants the same kind of info. So we can just say no thanks uh, if you don't like it. Now below that we have automatic system update, which is completely preferential. Below that we have personalized aids, uh, I mean ads, and uh, then we have user experience programs and MIUI, whatever the, that is. Now, uh, out of all these, the first two are whatever, I do like to turn them off. Now one that I'm gonna focus on just because it is absolutely cancerous is the personalized ads. Uh, and what this does is basically checks what you're doing on your device, what you search for, what you talk about, because it also responds to voice, even though it never explicitly states it. Uh, now, it's already quite intrusive all by its own. Uh, now, the big middle finger from Xiaomi is when you try to turn it off and it gives you this pop-up as the only option in this list. And then, even bigger middle finger is the fact that they decide to uh, do reverse psychology and give you the blue text as a uh, main option. So, whoop. 
that would be usually the confirmation to your action. My action was to turn it off. The confirmation would be the blue button. Nope, it's the other one because uh, middle finger. That shouldn't be a thing, Xiaomi. Fix this. Anyway, uh, once you turn that crap off, I can actually progress further. Now, I do recommend turning it off because it's absolute dog shit, let's be honest. And once you turn that off, we are basically done with the setup. And as you can see, once the setup is completed, it tells you to swipe up because we are still retaining the gestures instead of giving us the option to change it. So if you want to change it, like the message stated, you will navigate into the settings and then home screen, I believe it was. Home screen and the system navigation. And here we have the two different navigation style for the people that want to change it, but they don't have the option to do it in a screen that should give you this option. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, informative, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.